Hey guys, so we're all here because all of us seen this disturbing video with Cassie and Diddy. If you followed my journey and my story, you know I've went through something very similar, right? And oftentimes, women, our voices are drowned out. Watching that video just disturbed my whole spirit. Because number one, Diddy is a man. She is a young lady, a young girl. You could see her trying to get away. You can see in her body language how scared she was. This monster <laughs> hit her from the back in her neck, in her head. She fell. Then he turned around and kicked her and then stomped her and then dragged her. She deserved every bit of that $30 million plus more. His ass needs to be in jail and he needs to lose everything. I don't want to see him manipulating people's minds because he's posted his kids and he's trying to act like he's brother love and this good guy. Hell no. Nah. And I'm going to tell you guys something. Your kids will reap what you sow. Okay, men, your daughters will reap what you sow. See, did he play this game? But baby, he has daughters and I don't wish nothing bad on nobody's kids. But your kids, your daughters can reap what you sow. So watch how you guys are out here treating women. Nobody deserves that. But when you have actions like that, the universe and karma will come back 10 times fold on who you love and who you care about and who you cherish. You don't get away doing dirty to people. I don't care who you are and how long your money is. You don't get away doing dirty to people. Remember that. My heart goes out to her. To see her helpless, where like it brought tears to my eyes. To see her on that floor not moving. To see him kick her and double back and stomp on her. A woman that he laid with. A woman that was there for him. A woman that had his back. A woman that was supporting him through all of his theatrics. And for him to do her like that and then act like she's lying and she's playing victim and he knew all of this stuff he's done to this young girl who just wanted a career. If you follow her story, you knew she wanted her career and he manipulated her young mind. He manipulated her and then he abused her and then he misused her. And then he devalued her to any man out there, especially black men. If you are condoning this, then you are a part of the problem. Because don't forget, you have mothers, you have daughters, you have sisters. How change is created for things like this is when men start correcting other men and holding other men accountable for the mistreatment of women. Guys, he could have killed her. Think about it. That could be your mother, your daughter, your sister, your auntie, your niece, your little cousin, somebody that's chasing a dream and he manipulated her mind and then abused her. He abused her emotionally, physically, mentally. Look at her on the ground. If you don't see nothing wrong with that, you are a part of the problem. I'm telling you guys. I've been there, but I, it wasn't sexual for me. It was just business. Y'all don't understand how that feels to be a woman and to be attacked by a man. You don't know that feeling. She was on that ground, y'all, so helpless. I like, I wanted to jump through this screen and help her. She was, you could tell she was scared. And then they just said he gave her a black eye the night before and she was trying to get away. That's why she was gone. She was trying to get away and he came and chased her and attacked her and hit her from the back. I don't give a fuck what he contributed to this culture because I said that about him. Oh, did he contribute to this? I don't care about none of that. He needs to be canceled and stay canceled and his son needs to sit his goofy ass down and figure out what happened to his own mother. 
That is a monstrous person. Any man that can do that to a woman is a monstrous person.